Celebrating Africa's rich cultural heritage. The Vice President of Nigeria Table Tennis Federation, NTTF, Dr. Tayo Adesoji says, Osho Anwar Michael and Felicia Memorial Table Tennis Tournament will be enlisted and upgraded as national competition in 2023. Dr. Adesoji gave the assurance during the final of the second edition of the competition held at Otan Ayigbaju, Uluadro Local Government Area of Oshun State. Sporting activities and initiative to encourage youths to develop their talent and divert attention from criminal activities and other social vices. At this year 2022 competition, 250 athletes from 17 states competed for trophy and other prizes including cash. In his address, Adesoji expressed delight over the large turnout of the players and spectators for the game adding that one of the cardinal points of the current NTTF administration was to encourage grassroots development and provide opportunity for players to end points. He noted that the step that makes a competition complete for NTTF will also be made available for international standard, while also promised to donate another table tennis board to Ocean State Table Tennis Association. So he continues to have 250 players from like 17 states of Nigeria, and it's being sponsored solely by one individual. I promised that who, I will make every effort to get the competition listed on the program of Nigerian Table Tennis Federation come 2023. We're going to bring in our flooring, our floor flex, our environment, as well as our tables, so that this competition will be of the standard that is expected of an international table tennis um, competition. The chairman. Ocean Table Tennis Association, Ayala BSP, continue to contribute to the progress and development of sporting activities among youth in the society. The reason why we have gathered here, as we did last year, is the need to contribute a quota to the development and growth of our youth. Here, we have chosen the revolutionary of the table tennis game to inculcate the values of discipline, dedication, and devotion to moral values and standard of shaping meaningfully our youth. We have for long recognized the fact that government alone cannot be left with youth sports development if we want our society to grow. I am exceedingly proud of it because my parents were very good people. My father, my mother, they were very, very good and kind people. And it is basically, we're not doing it only for them. We're doing it because we need to have our town, that is the place of their birth, marked on the world map. That is, and then we want to see that more commercial activities happens in Northern Yegbaju. The state government representatives, traditional rulers, including Owa of Northern Yegbaju, Oba Lukman Fadipe, Aragbiji of Iragbiji, Oba Abdrashid Olabumi, among other dignitaries, graced the occasion. Speaking, the Arabiji of Iragbiji, Oba Abdrashid Olabumi, described the exercise as opportunity for the youth at the grassroots level to exploit their potentials. To enable the younger elements, the youth, in this community and in the state in general, to see another opportunity where they can explore or exploit their potentials rather than going to antisocial or criminal activities. At the final stage, the winner, Omar Yamadi from Ondo State, defeated Soleka Assis from Delta State, while Tosin Uriba Michel from Delta State defeated Hussein Aliman from Oyo State. The winner's first position received cash gift 125000 each, while the second position got 100000 Others who participated also received cash gift prize. ABN TV News, Ocean State, Nigeria.